guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to another video of vlogmas and i know i'm not actually doing the vlogmas the way most people are most people do vlogmas a video every day in the month of december up until christmas and i'm not doing that um it would be hard for me to come up with 25 days of content first of all and second of all we've been really busy and uh, I just haven't had time to make a lot of videos. I still have a video I want to put out of decorating. There wasn't as much footage as I had hoped because we got to talking with other people and friends and just enjoying what we were doing and we didn't take a lot of video, but there is a good bit. And then we'll show you a finished tour of everything we decorated for our building as well as our apartment coming up in the next few days. So today's video is gonna be a fun one. Keto Diamond tagged me in a video, and it is a Christmas tag video, so I thought I would do that. And I will, I don't know if I'm gonna tag anybody in my video, but you all are welcome to do it. And if you do make a video of your Christmas tag, leave the link in the description below, and I can either pin it or I can watch it. And I'd love to see your answers to the questions as well. But before I get into that, over the last couple of weeks, I've had some people send me some Amazon gifts from my wish list, and I want to thank you all very much, and I want to show you what I got. First, I got this, and I cannot wait to use this. This will be in an upcoming video as well. This is from Kimberly, and Kimberly says, Hey, Jen, longtime subscriber here. I love you and Jean. Maybe you can use this in a video. XOXO, Kim. Kim got me Santa molds, and I'll just let you guys guess what we're going to be doing with these. You might be able to guess, you might not. Miss Luna Bug's going to be in the background. Moo is asleep. Luna is going crazy today, but you'll see her running back and forth. She, today, we think we may have made the mistake of feeding her after midnight, and she's turned into a gremlin. Um, she makes these little grumbling noises. Was that a car wreck? Sounded like it. I think there was just a car wreck outside. Yeah. Where? This dude's front. This dude's front end's all jacked up, but he's behind a truck. Are they just sitting there? Yeah. Uh, it looks like he rear-ended the damn Penske truck. Well, let's go look. What, you wanna go down there? Yeah, the let's go check it out. Come on, guys. How would he run into the car? Maybe he was like taking a left. The car was taking a left. I'm sure I should have the ETM. Without meaning to. Oh my gosh. It must have happened down there then. Yeah. Looks like that left step. See that low hanging piece of metal? Uh -huh. Step. Looks like that's a right to cross it. And the purple has arrived. Alright, so there was a little bit of excitement for the day. Luckily, no one was injured, and everything looked pretty much okay. The car looked a good bit dented up. I thought I'd share that little bit of excitement with you guys. So let me get back to what I was showing you, my gifts from Amazon before I do the tag questions. And this was my first gift, and this is from Kim, and you will be seeing this in an upcoming video, but I'm gonna let you guess what it will be making with it. Be watching for that. And then my next gift is, I'm so excited about these. This came with a tag, it says, Merry Christmas, Jen and Jean. You are dearly loved from me, your sister in Christ. And they got me my beautiful wooden bowl set. I am so excited about this. I had the spoons, the bowls, and the forks on my wish list. I have my spoons and my bowls now. Isn't that beautiful? There was a set of four. 
So thank you so much. I think I might know who that is from. I'm not completely sure, but thank you so much. These are beautiful. We'll be using these all times of the year, but I can envision myself using them on Christmas day to put a little salad in. Thank you so much for that. And then my last gift is from another person who I'm kind of maybe thinking it might be the same person, not quite sure. Um, and they have been quite anonymous for a while. They send me gifts every so often and the tag, it always says from me. And this, it always says the same thing because you are loved from me. So thank you me very much. They got me a rock painting kit. So excited to use this. We will be doing this in an upcoming video as well. Probably not before Christmas, but maybe during the week after Christmas as a little crafty crafty. We'll do a time lapse of painting some rocks. Everything you need is included in here, including rocks, wood pieces, brushes, paints, um, a paint palette, a paint pen, stickers, everything you need to make you some uh, painted rocks. And I have spray that will keep it waterproof and then we will take them around and hide them in different areas, maybe at the park or somewhere. So thank you so much for this. I appreciate this and I love this. I can't wait to use it. All right, so let's get on with the tag. Gene loaned me his phone so I could read the questions off of it. And these questions, I was tagged by Keto Diamond and she got the questions from a website called YouTube Society. I will link the questions below. So if you want to do them as well, you can. All right, so the first question is, how do you celebrate Christmas? So the way I celebrate Christmas is kind of different every year, I guess you could say. For the past 10 years, it's definitely been different. Um, some years we would have a community Christmas. The people in our building, we would make a covered dish and then everybody would celebrate together. There is a building Christmas party. Of course, it's not gonna happen this year because of the coronavirus. Um, then some of my friends and I would get together either Christmas Eve or Christmas Day and have our own little dinner, usually at my apartment um, or a random apartment. Um, last year was Jean and I's first Christmas together, so we celebrated it together with that. Um, this Christmas, I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do yet. Uh, we're not allowed to have visitors again in our building and family members are limited to one or two for a short period of time. So everything is different this year. But whatever we do, we'll be sure to bring you guys along and let you see a little snippets of how we do celebrate our holiday. Um, and that brings me into question number two. How are you spending this Christmas? So like I said, I'm not quite sure. I'm sure it will involve food, of course, and Christmas movies. We usually just have dinner and then spend the day laying around watching Christmas stories, Christmas shows, Christmas movies, listening to Christmas music. Um, we might get together with a few friends. I'm not quite sure. We're, like I said, we're not allowed to have visitors, but we have friends in the building we might get together with and do maybe a dinner or dessert or something like that still up in the air number three are you good at buying gifts for others I think I am um, I usually put a lot of thought into what I'm gonna get someone it's either something that I know they need or something that I know that they've wanted or something that will just bring them joy um, maybe a gag gift or something that they th will think is funny I like to personalize it to the person and know their if it's somebody I know very well, I know their taste and their sense of humor or how they feel and what they would like. So I think I am pretty good at buying gifts for other people. Number four, what's your most memorable Christmas memory? Um, I would have to say it was, and I don't know what year this was, I don't know how old I was, but it was the year I got my very first computer. And I am so old that my very first computer was a keyboard that attached to a TV. And you had to type in like 
10, well, five run, 10 go to 20, 20, and then you just kept typing in these lines and you typed in this big long list of commands and you couldn't backspace and if you messed up, you had to delete it all and start all over again. And then the final outcome was just like a ball bouncing across the TV screen. And it was like the most wonderful thing ever. But I got that for Christmas. And then the same year I got this big stuffed teddy bear. And I think I was probably maybe six or seven. And that teddy bear was my lifelong friend from the time I was that age until just recently when he had to go into retirement because he was losing his beans. Um, but I was more surprised to see the teddy bear and then I was the computer. And I remember my mom reminded me of that my entire life of how surprised I was to see the teddy bear. And I, I was excited about the computer too. I loved it. But, and I also got the TV to go with the little computer too. Um, so that was my most memorable Christmas. Number five is how did you spend last Christmas? So last Christmas was Jean and I's first Christmas together. We just had dinner. We watched Christmas movies. And I think we got together with some friends afterwards. Um, we, I think we played cards that day. We had a little Christmas get together that day with friends. And um, that's how we spent last Christmas. Uh, number six, on Christmas Eve, what do you leave out for Santa? Well, we don't really leave anything out for Santa anymore. Maybe this year we will. Maybe the magic of Santa will come around and we'll leave him some cookies and some milk and maybe some carrots for his reindeer. Number seven, what is your favorite Christmas movie? And this is so easy to answer. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. I could watch that movie over and over and over again and never ever get tired of it. It is hilarious and that's a lot of good Christmas memories too. My mom loved that movie as well and my mom would literally laugh so hard until she could hardly breathe. And no matter how many times she saw it, she would still laugh so hard at it. So that is my very favorite Christmas movie. Number eight, what is your favorite Christmas song? My very favorite Christmas song is Last Christmas by George Michael. It is my very favorite classic, I, I guess it's not actually a classic Christmas song, um, but every time I hear it, I have to sing along to it. I have to turn up as loud as I can and sing along to it. And surprisingly, when we started, started listening to Christmas music this year, it was the second song that was on um, Amazon Prime Music. Number nine, what do you eat on Christmas day? Well, usually growing up in my family, we had ham, macaroni salad, potato salad, baked beans, kind of like picnic-y food, broccoli casserole, um, some kind of jello salad, and then of course desserts. That was usually what we ate. Um, last year we had a kind of varied Christmas menu. We incorporated some of Jean's family's favorites and mine, so we kind of each had something from both of our families. This year, I don't know what we'll have. I know we're going to probably have ham, of course. And we had talked about making, we talked about making something. I know we talked about picking out, as far as treats, we've decided to pick out one sweet treat that each of our families that holds some kind of a memory for us. Jean picked out peanut butter balls. I picked out lemon bars because I always remember my mom, or my grandma actually, making lemon bars every Christmas. And his mom would make peanut, balls, peanut butter balls every year for Christmas. We call them Buckeyes, but in his family he called them peanut butter balls. Um, so we'll probably have like some casserole like a broccoli casserole maybe and the corn casserole went over so good at thanksgiving we both liked it maybe we'll make that again i'm not sure well it'll be up in the air until christmas day well till next week till we decide number 10 what do you do you have any christmas eve traditions well last christmas we put on our christmas jammies we had kind of matching pajamas we had red and white striped pajama pants, and I think we had gray t-shirt, my, my stand all along gray t-shirt. He had us a gray t-shirt too, so that was our kind of Christmas Eve tradition. We put on our Christmas jammies, 
We watched Christmas movies, had treats, and we left our Christmas jammies on all during Christmas Day. So that was our Christmas Eve tradition. Number 11 is, do you wear Christmas jumpers? If so, show us a picture. Um, I'm assuming when they mean Christmas jumpers, they mean Christmas pajamas. I don't have a picture of us in our Christmas pajamas, but I do have a picture of Jean in his Christmas pajamas that I'll insert right here. Number 12, in your culture, what date do you receive gifts? Usually that is on Christmas Day, although when I was little, we used to get one gift on Christmas Eve and then the rest of the gifts on Christmas Day. Number 13, show us your Christmas decorations. I'll insert a couple pictures here of some of our Christmas decorations from my apartment. Number 14, do you like eggnog? I hate eggnog. I do not like it in any form at all. Um, I think I've only like stuck my finger in it and tasted it. I'm not a big fan of eggs and so it's definitely not one of my favorites. Number 15, have you ever visited the North Pole? I have not visited the North Pole. Number 16, what, is your f what was your favorite gift you've received on Christmas? Um, I guess I would have to say that teddy bear was my favorite gift. And then last Christmas, Jean gave me a beautiful necklace a heart necklace with a little diamond on it. So that was another favorite gift of mine as well. Number 17, have you ever gone Christmas caroling? Yes, when I was little, younger, in grade school age, we used to go Christmas caroling every year. We would Christmas carol around the block for our school. We'd meet there in the evening and they would take us around the block and through the neighborhood our school was in and we'd do Christmas caroling. 18, have you ever built a gingerbread house? I have not. Last year we got the gingerbread kits, but we never got around to doing them. And I think we actually still have them. So maybe this year we will do those, or if not during Christmas, maybe the week after Christmas we'll make some gingerbread houses. I don't know, maybe. I've always wanted to because it looks so fun. So stay tuned, that might be coming up. Number 19, try to name all of Santa's reindeer. I don't know if I can do this. There's Donner, Blitzen, Cupid, Comet. Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, Rudolph, of course. Hmm. I'm going to have to cheat and look it up. Let's look it up because I don't know the rest of them. Santa's reindeer. Okay, okay. I was almost there. There's Dasher and Dancer. Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid, Donner and Blitzen, and of course Rudolph. Left out of quite a few of them. <laughs> All right, number 20 is finish this elf quote. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is, I have no idea. Jean, yeah. do you know from the movie Elf, what is the best way to spread Christmas cheer? I'm looking it up. I'll sing loud for all to hear. Is that what it is? Mm hmm It is to sing loud for all to hear. I had no clue. I have seen the movie Elf not that many times, though. So there you go. Um, number 21. What's the worst present you've ever received? I don't think I've ever received a horrible Christmas gift. Um, I honestly can't think of a horrible Christmas gift I've received. I've always been grateful for everything I've gotten and everything that I knew came from somebody's heart that they picked out for me has always been amazing and I'm grateful for everything. Number 22, what is your all time favorite Christmas food? That would have to be 
broccoli casserole. It's not actually a Christmas food, but it's just a memory of that's what we have on Christmas Day, is you steam broccoli, and then you use cheese, broccoli, crushed up crackers. It is so good. Um, we'll probably be making it, and I'll show you the recipe for it this year. That is my favorite Christmas food. Number 23, make a noise to show how excited you are about Christmas. <laughs> oh my god, that would be a funny gift. <laughs> is your Christmas tree real or fake? It is fake, and I'll show it to you. It's right over there. Pardon the mess around the tree. There's a Luna bug sleeping on the chair. It's fake, but it's beautiful. And then there's our other Christmas tree, our 3D Christmas tree, 2D. It's hanging on the wall in there. Number 25, have you ever built a snowman? I have built many snowmen in my life. And in fact, there's a snowstorm coming, supposed to be tomorrow and Thursday. And Gene is very excited because he wants to build a snowman. He did build a snowman last year. We didn't have a lot of snow, but he was able to build a small one. And he is very excited for snow this year to build another one. Number 26, who cooks the Christmas meal? Gene and I both uh, make stuff. Um, there's no set menu, so we both contribute and make things on the Christmas menu, whatever we decide to have. What gifts do you want for Christmas this year? I honestly couldn't think of anything that I actually want. Um, there's always little things of like, oh, I want this, I want that. But there's not just one thing that I can think of that I want. I have so much stuff and that's the problem we're having is figuring out where to put stuff because we have so much stuff. So I really can't think of anything that I want this year. Just health and happiness. I think that it's a cliche thing that people want but is actually honestly what I do want. Number 28, do you prefer giving or receiving on Christmas? Um, gifts. Um, actually, I like giving gifts better. I love to see people's excitement. I love how it makes me feel. Maybe that's selfish of me because I like how it makes me feel. Um, I just like seeing other people happy, so I like giving. Number 29, what is your favorite thing about Christmas? I love the Christmas lights, the hope for Christmas snow, the cozy feeling, the happiness, and of course, the reason for the season is the birth of Jesus. Number 30, have you ever celebrated Christmas in another culture? I have not. I would like to read about different, I, and I have not researched the different Christmas celebrations in other cultures, but it is something that I would like to do. Number 31, what makes Christmas special for you? Being with people I love, being happy, and seeing others happy. Number 32, what would be your dream place to spend Christmas? Probably somewhere like Colorado, or somewhere that typically gets a lot of snow and there would be a guaranteed white Christmas. Number 33, who are you spending Christmas with this year? Well, that would be Jean. And probably that's it because like I said, we're not allowed to have visitors in our building and we're only allowed to have one or two family members for a short period of time. Um, his family is out of town, so my family might, I have a few cousins that might stop for a while, I'm not sure, depends on what their plans are, they have family that's out of town. Everything with the coronavirus this year is complicated, everything, so I'm not quite sure who else, but I know I'm spending with Jean, Luna, and Moo for sure. Number 34, are you a last minute shopper or are you organized? Definitely last minute, and I have not even started Christmas shopping yet. Number 35, what is your one Christmas wish? I think my one Christmas wish is for happiness and peace. There's so much um, like static going around the country and the world. There's so much unrest and unhappiness that I just wish for even a short period of time that everybody could be happy and there could be no fighting, no arguing, and just everybody being happy and being grateful for the things that we have. 
So thank you very much to Keto Diamond for tagging me in this. I appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a good holiday season. And if you guys do a video, I'll leave the link for it below so I, everybody can watch it. And I will talk to you again soon. Bye, everyone. Thank you.